of them I think we will start with is our barley. Uh, we got such rave reviews with the barley the last time we made it, so when I came across this recipe, I thought, let's try it again. Everybody seemed to like the barley. Uh, I did go ahead and cook the barley. You just basically cook it like rice. Just follow the instructions on the box. This is the quick cooking, so it doesn't need to be soaked. Um, it is found in the soup aisle. So I do have our barley here. And you can see it looks cross between oatmeal and rice. We'll get that in there. And this is just barley, um, corn. And I never, whenever I use frozen corn, and I'm using it in a salad like this, um, I, I don't bother cooking it because by the time you thaw it out, it really is, you know, edible as far as the texture and the, um, I mean, it's, whether or not it's cooked, it's still soft enough or whatever to use in your salads. Now, of course, since it's set a cup and a quarter, that's close enough. You know how I feel about little drips and drabs left over. So we'll add our barley and our corn. What else do we have here? Some green onion, which I did already chop. And a red pepper. We'll go ahead and chop that. And you can use green, a green pepper if you like, whatever. I just thought that the red looked kind of nice. I thought this is real colorful. Not quite red, white, white, and blue, but we'll, we'll do some red, white, and blue also tonight. Although there's, there's some colors in food that just don't make it, and one of them is blue. <laughs> And I never realized that till you see some stuff and uh, sort of blue food, and you're like, ooh, I don't think so. So, unless it's blueberries. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, cooked stuff. Fruit's okay. Fruit, I guess you can use in any color, but so the blueberries are good. Actually, I think blueberries are more purpley, but, you know, I guess that's the way you look at it. Now, if you'd like to do this in different um, shapes, we've got the, the kernel of the, you know, the kernel, kernel shape of the corn. And we did, I did chop the onions. The barley is a sort of an oval shape. If you want to put this in, a, in little strips instead of chopping, that's perfectly all right, just to give it a little bit more interest. Sometimes I think there are, I have to think of the people that you're serving or how you're serving it. And if you started to serve these in strips, it almost gets a little bit hard to eat if you're just using a fork. Okay, so that's all our salad ingredients. Mix that up a little bit and then we'll mix some And this is uh, something that can be served at room temperature. And you don't, of course, want stuff sitting out all day, but um, this would be fine. You don't have to worry about it being cold or hot. Okay, and we'll go ahead in our little barley bowl, mix up the dress. our dressing. And our dressing is a quarter cup of uh, cilantro. Here's our cilantro, just I'm gonna chop that. I always like to do it fresh, not ahead of time, because it does smell so good. And it's not that, it doesn't take that long. Okay. And this actually, I don't think this even called for oil, did it? Yeah, a quarter cup of olive oil. A quarter cup of olive oil, must have, I must have that uh, in the wrong sequence, over there. So I got a little mixed up. Okay, that looks good. All right, and remember when we're doing fresh herbs like this, or any fresh little leaves, we ball it up as much as we can in a little tiny package. Fold your nails in, fingertips. 
rest the knife against your knuckles and chop away. quarter cup of olive oil. I guess this should have been over here. Like that. We'll put that in. Let me see. Let me make sure we got the right recipe here. Okay. Yes, yeah, our quarter cup of oil with our cilantro. Bring that over there. A quarter cup of lemon juice, which is just about one lemon. These lemons were awfully seedy, so I'm going to squeeze it into this cup. We'll use our little reamer here. Oops. Lemon looks like it's got a lot of seeds. Pull some of those out. One of those little seed catchers. Okay. There's a oops, one more. There's our lemon juice. So we've got our cilantro and well, whoever gets the lemon seed gets a little prize. Okay, there's some salt. And we can uh, let's whisk that up a little bit. can do that. Um, I just move, uh, use the lemon juice and the olive oil just in one bowl with a little whisk. If you, if you prefer to do it in a jar, you don't have a whisk or you can't, you know, whatever, you could certainly put the cilantro in with the salad and mix the olive oil. And I think sometimes when you have something like the, you know, olive oil and whatever, since they don't, you know, they have to be mixed up. Um, I think the using the cilantro in there sort of helps to keep it mixed up. Personal opinion. I don't know if I read read that somewhere, but you know, seems like it should be a good idea. And there's our barley, corn, and pepper salad. We'll get this in a, and this is nice and colorful, a little bit different because we don't want to make the same old stuff. And then we'll get this in a, a little plate. Simple enough, yes, good, yes. Different and pretty. 